Hello, and welcome to Will's Infinite Library. I'm Will, and this is my Infinite Library. I wanted to just kind of wrap up the year with you here to wish you happy holidays. Hope you're staying safe and healthy and your family and loved ones and friends and frenemies. Thank you so much for the greatest gift of all for making my dreams come true by making this channel feel like a place where we can just hang out and talk about books and it's not just me talking at you. But it's so great to hear from you down in the comments and to be able to chat with you a little bit and learn about some of your favorite books, what you've been reading, what you're and what you're up to. So thank you again for that. And please feel free to keep them coming. My gift for you is I wanted to share the best LGBTQ plus books that I read in 2021. So without further ado, I just wanted to kind of talk about some of my favorite books of 2021. And I have this kind of divided into two categories. One is truly my favorite books that came out in 2021, because I think that's what you're probably going to be most interested in. And then if you want to hang out for a bit, we can talk more about some of the books that I read in 2021 that I loved that didn't necessarily come out this year. I don't want to say favorites of the year. I'm going to present these mostly in the order that I read them in. But I don't know if that's true totally, because this one was definitely up there and maybe one of my very favorites for the year, which was Trailer Park Trickster by David R. Slayton. If you've watched this channel before, you know that I love this series. I really enjoy them. It's just such a great, such great queer representation. So many great gay, bisexual characters, characters of other minorities, different races in a fully fleshed out, exciting, engaging urban fantasy world that feels really unique and different and just really captured my imagination and kept me turning those pages. It's one of the most, I guess, exciting and like fully engaging, immersive experiences that I've had with a book in a long time. So just a great, awesome read. Definitely check out Trailer Park Trickster and the first book, White Trash Warlock if you have not already, highly recommend. And uh, and then I also reread White Trash Warlock before Trailer Park Trickster came out this year. So that's kind of on my list, but it didn't come out this year. So I'm just mentioning it. Another great queer book that I read this year was A Dream of a Woman by Casey Platt. And this is a collection of short stories about characters across, I think overall North America, living different experiences, finding out who they are, what sexuality and gender identity kind of means to them and the shape that it has and that they have in their own lives. And they're just really beautiful, well-written, amazing stories. And I would say one of the most vital books to come out in 2021. So definitely check this one out as well. Another great book that I read in 2021 that also came out in 2021 is Here the Whole Time by Vitor Martins. This is a kind of gay young adult coming of age romance set in Brazil. And I came across it because I was looking for books set in Brazil and found this one and it sounded right up my alley. And it was. It was really fun and enjoyable and just a great young adult novel that I thoroughly enjoyed and would highly recommend if you're looking for something along those lines. And then the last queer book that came out in 2021 that I read in 2021 was One Last Stop by Casey McQuiston. Uh, this was a really fun read which had everything that I look for in a book. It had great queer characters. It had a kind of found family of uh, of diverse characters these like 25 ish year old i think characters living in new york city quirky roommates fun characters interesting characters and a really compelling interesting plot and it was fun which is something that i think is often lacking in a lot of books that feel like they have something to say like they feel very meaningful and she didn't lose sight of that and this book feels fun now I want to quickly transfer over to the books that I enjoyed and read in 2021, but aren't necessarily books that came out this year. And by not necessarily, I mean didn't. And the first of those is Less by Andrew Sean Greer. I mentioned in my kind of reaction to it, I kind of had trouble getting into it. And that's because of my mindset and expectations of it as kind of a travel book. 
and it's really more of a reflection on life and relationships. And once I adjusted my expectations, I really enjoyed it. And another great book, which didn't come out in 2021, but I read in 2021 and loved in 2021, was The House in the Cerulean Sea by T.J. Klune. And this was another great book with a, a really fun vibe overall that's just really enjoyable and feels really cozy. It's more of kind of a contemporary fantasy and was just a world that I really enjoyed being in. So if you're looking for that kind of cozy read, especially over the holidays, it would probably be a really fun holiday read. Another book that I read in 2021 and really enjoyed was The Starless Sea by Aaron Morgenstern. This was a cool kind of very different slow burn kind of contemporary fantasy or even portal fantasy that was really enjoyable. It reminded me a lot of The Magicians. If The Magicians was more of a thoughtful, slow paced, experimental kind of book, if that makes sense. Uh, so very different, but like kind of same, con like very contemporary feel, but also once uh, the main characters in that other world, the library, it doesn't feel contemporary at all. It feels like this weird place outside of time. Yeah, we read a really cool book, really interesting. Note that it is quite slow, so don't expect a page turner. Expect to be kind of lost from time to time and to enjoy finding your way through this underground labyrinth of stories. And, and it's more of a aesthetic kind of mood piece. So if that sounds cool, definitely check it out. But know that going in or you might be disappointed if you're expecting like a thrilling page turner of a mystery or something. It's not that, but it is very good. Another book that I read in 2021 was Brave Face by Sean David Hutchinson. This is actually a memoir, so it's very different than the other books on my list. And it just kind of went through his life from, I forget how early it started. He was quite young and I read this at the very beginning of 2021. So it's not this fresh in my mind, but it was just a really touching story of his struggles coming out and struggles with depression and anxiety. And it gets really dark, but it pulls out of that as well. And he's very successful today and writes amazing books. So I think it is a hopeful story overall that, you know, he reached this point, found meaning in his life and found a reason to carry on and to even thrive in his life after being in such a dark pit. So I found this book really touching and moving and also really sad and heavy so if you're up for that then i would re definitely recommend it if but if you're feeling a little on edge because i know you know the world is not in the most stable state right now maybe wait on it and don't dive in at the moment there's a bit of a trigger warning on that one. Oh, and then the only other book i wanted to add to this list was the two that i reread one that i already mentioned which was white trash warlock and the other one is The Melting Queen by Bruce Cinnamon, which is just a beautiful, amazing book, which captures, I guess, kind of the vision or perspective of the world that I'm always looking for in books, which is one that takes the real world and twists it on its head and makes you see everything totally differently in this kind of blend of fabulism slash maybe even full on fantasy slash urban fantasy but not like an urban fantasy plot and it's really focused on like themes of identity and the writing is really strong and thoughtful and creative and really stuck in my mind in a way definitely a great book didn't come out in 2021 but a great book any year so those are my best books of 2021 that list is my gift to you this season. Again, I hope you enjoy a happy holiday season with your loved ones, whether that's in person or virtual. And I hope you stay safe and healthy. And I will look forward to continuing our book hangout and chat in the new year. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to like and subscribe. And as always, please feel free to let me know what you think in the comments below and if you have any ideas for what you'd like to see me make videos about in the new year. Thank you all so much for hanging out and for a great year. Even though it's only been a few months, it's been a great year. See you next year.